A News 4 Jack's I-Team investigation uncovering a possible cut in the number of Jacksonville police officers patrolling the city's busiest bus station. The I-Team learned officers were called to the Rosa Parks Transit Station more than 800 times last year. Most of the calls were for reported assaults. I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley is joining us live from La Villa at what will be the newest bus station with a look at safety concerns. Kelly? Yeah, in less than two months, uh, part of Rosa Parks will be shut down and bus operations, the main bus operations, will be right behind me here in La Villa. JTA says they've added more security cameras. They've added more private security officers that will be patrolling the area. But union workers say they're concerned it'll be less safe if there is possibly one less JSO officer, which is what JTA is considering. Pages and pages of calls for service paint the picture for how much goes on at the busiest bus station in Jacksonville. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office records show in one year they were called out to the bus station 875 times, more than 100 times for suspicious persons, 63 for domestic disputes, 27 times for mental illness, and 20 for assault. Our investigation into bus driver assaults back in October found there had been at least two dozen attacks on JTA drivers since 2014. JTA has since finished installing protective shields to every bus on their route. Chris Gerasi is the interim JTA safety officer. The challenges by far are the transient populations that come in and out. So it's a challenge to maintain your staffing levels for worst case scenarios. He says the new transit station opening in March in La Villa will have more cameras and increased private security officers. But a sticking point for local union members is JTA considering decreasing the traditional two JSO officers patrolling the transit station and using more security officers in their place. Having one less um, police officer down there is, is putting everybody at risk. Now you, you're actually putting that police officer at risk. JTA says they're still considering keeping the same amount of JSO officers at what will be their busiest transit station, but have not yet made a decision. We will have a much larger footprint of contracted security personnel here. Uh, the JSO presence, we are still finalizing. It will be either one to two officers during peak hours. Uh, the, the footprint for First Coast Security will enhance the overall footprint because we are in such a large campus. The First Coast Security officers are well trained. Uh, we currently have both or plans for both armed and unarmed at J or JRTC, um, but they certainly don't have arrest authority or trespass authority. The bus operators union says their recommendation is to keep two JSO officers to handle what they expect will be a similar amount of issues. And this is a big sticking point for the union. They're making a big distinction between security guards and JSO officers. They want to see the same amount of JSO officers they had at Rosa Parks because of the arresting powers that they have and the power they have to be able to trespass those who are not allowed to get on the bus. It's very important to them when they're considering their safety. And at the same time, uh, this is still an internal, uh, an internal decision that's being made. No decision is final at this point. They're still trying to work it out. All also happening a legislation that's stiffening the penalties for uh, anyone who would attack a bus driver that's currently uh, being discussed right now and is set to take make it to the house floor uh, in the coming weeks reporting live in downtown Jacksonville Kelly Wiley channel 4 the local station